it's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Jets and the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday night. At the confluence of the three rivers, the Ohio, the Allegheny, and the Monongahela, we are here at Pittsburgh's AccraSure Stadium. Brandon Gaughan and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. The kicker, Chris Boswell, has it ready to go, and we are underway from Pittsburgh. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here come the Jets to take over. Led at quarterback by a man back to full health in season number 20 now, and his second one in New York, and that's Aaron Rodgers. And after an Achilles injury robbed him of playing most of last season, He's hoping this year can set himself up for a possible fairy tale ending in what has been an inevitable Hall of Fame career. We know it won't be easy, but the Jets have great optimism not only for Aaron Rodgers, but for the team. If he plays the full season, they believe they're truly a playoff team. Rodgers going to come out throwing. That's complete right side to Lazard. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. On first and 10, it's Hall, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Now Rodgers. Got a man. It's the rookie out of the third round. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards is the pickup there at a jet first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Running left, it's Hall. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Here's a quick throw out to Wilson. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that'll bring up second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Handoff running left. Here's Hall. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. 27 yards for Brees Hall. And the Jets put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Throughout the game, we're going to track so many different statistics. But one is becoming increasingly in vogue, 
explosive runs, runs of 20 yards or more, and we just saw one right there to open this game. Now we'll see how the other team responds, because when you get a play like that against you this early in the game, you got to feel like your back's against the wall a little bit. Yeah, the pressure now increases on you because your first thought is we have to answer right now. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. So the drive there took six plays. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So the Steelers make their way out, led by their fourth-year quarterback, picked up in the offseason from the Chicago Bears, Justin Fields. And while things obviously didn't pan out in Chicago, he told us the other day that he's looking forward to making the most of this next opportunity. Let's not forget, Fields is one of the few quarterbacks in NFL history to rush for over 1,000 yards in a season. So his struggles certainly have been from a lack of talent, but for him to make the next step, he has become as productive with his arm as he is with his legs. A first carry for Najee Harris. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Harris going to get it again on second down. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Off play action. Fields. Over the middle complete. That's Harris. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 37. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. It was Chuck Clark coming up to make the tackle. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not of there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. A shotgun snap, Fields. A short one there to Fryermuth. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Back to throw. Fields. And here's Fryer Muth again. No gain on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. They run for it with Harris. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. 
A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. So they get the conversion on fourth, and now from the 25, they operate with a first and 10. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Now a first down carry for Harris. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Harris running straight ahead. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. From the gun, here's Fields. Out. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Javon Kinlaw able to drop him for a loss of two, and that will bring up fourth down. Boy, this has been a nice first drive for them, but right there, Charles, a sack on third and goal. That's tough. Yeah, and if you're the head coach and the offensive play caller, if you had any thoughts about going for it on fourth down, it's a much more difficult decision now. Likely kick the field goal, but if you're going to go for it, you better have the perfect play call on your sheet. Boswell's kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that, and this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Here's Rodgers. Throw over the middle. He's got Rucker. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? 
pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. They'll go again with Hall. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Third and four. Rodgers now to throw. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Ruckert holding it in on the out route. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. What a drive this has been. Just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Throwing is Rodgers. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. T.J. Watt, the all-pro, in there to take him down. And following an injury-shortened campaign 2022, Watt returned to his elite form a season ago, recording a league-leading 19 sacks and 19 tackles for loss. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. A handoff for Hall. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They need 18 yards here on third down. To throw, it's Rodgers. Yeah, he'll find Hall. They juked him. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Zerline's kick is up and through, and they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it, and they do so right there. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. 
They'll start this drive out on the ground. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Here's Fields. He finds Pickens over the middle. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? First down, and they go back to Harris. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and six. They run again with Harris. And oh! He sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 64 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Running a jet sweep. This is Austin. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst. Nice gain, too. Here's second and three. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he'll go down at the 28. 10-3 our score after one here on EA Sports. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. That's going to be caught by Pickens. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. On the give, this is Harris. And here he'll get it down to the 7. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and 4. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. To throw his fields. Touchdown! George Pickens. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. 
when you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play and they got it done there. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was finished off by a George Pickens touchdown grab. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. New York ready to go again offensively. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. Throwing now is Rodgers. He'll find Williams on the slant. Now inside the 25, Mike Williams. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Mike Williams. 68 yards and the Jets have taken the lead well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up it's a little bit of a how would you say you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped they regrouped in a hurry didn't they they attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that makes it a 17 10 score. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Oh, a good return up past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Steelers offense and running back Najee Harris set to take over once more. Now, he's been a tough man to stop in this first half. He's putting up some big numbers already, and we have yet to reach halftime. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. From the 38 now, here's a second and five. Here's Fields. That's caught. It's Austin left side. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Oh. 
They hand this off to Harris. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Second and ten. Now here's another carry for Harris. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The offense on third down tonight. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Now it's Fields. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. They'll try the right side with Harris. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Now a second and ten. Now Fields. Completes Austin here over the middle. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That'll give him eight that time. And this will wind up being a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Opening carry of the game for Cordell Patterson. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Fields. Harris has it over the middle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. How about a nod to the sequence of plays they're putting together here. This has been death by a 1,000 paper cuts on this drive. But this is one of their best plays yet, and they're able to move it down into the red zone. Fields now to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they were very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. Here's second and ten. Back to throw. Fields. And it's caught. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. They run with Harris. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris taking it in from two yards out. And the Steelers are an extra point away from evening this one up. And how nice is it to have a guy like Najee Harris in the backfield when you get down near the goal line? He can use his 230-plus pound frame to just get you those tough yards, and he finishes things off here with a touchdown run. Extra point put through by Boswell. And we've got a tie game here in a back-and-forth first half.
17-17 the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Time for another drive here for this Jets offense. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's a second and three now from the 33. To throw is Rodgers. And a completion to Wilson. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Another nice catch there by Garrett Wilson is off to a really nice start in his NFL career. His rookie of the year in 2022, and in 2023, his second 1,000-yard season. He's looking for an even bigger leap this year with Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback throughout the entire campaign. Here's a give to Hall. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. The well, former LSU Tiger Dante Jackson on the stop. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. He finds Wilson. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 38-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Now Rodgers going right back to Wilson. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Here's a quick throw out to Wilson. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Second and a couple. Wilson's got it complete. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit, but how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Now it's Rodgers. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And the Jets are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Now Rodgers. This is caught. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Here's Rodgers to throw. Toward the sideline, intercepted. Picked off by Joey Porter Jr. And he brings 
this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. It just appeared there that the defense, they had that red from the moment the ball was snapped. And not only did they get the interception, add a nice return on top of it, all the way to the end zone for a defensive touchdown. Yeah, and the guy made the play. He gets the points. But it really was a group effort, wasn't it? How about the coaches? They've got to be so excited. All the preparation, time in the film room. It translated into a big play that put points on the board for their team. Boswell for the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Jets offense and Aaron Rodgers getting set for their next drive. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six. So we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. This a second and seven from the 37. Here's Hall again. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Here's third down and four. Rogers going to throw. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. The back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Steelers are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. Najee Harris and the rest of this offense work their way back onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Back to throw. Fields. Got an open man. It's Pickens. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields going across the formation. He finds Fryermuth. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Yeah. 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Pickens on the slant. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards that time for number 14. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. This is Harris. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 97 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again to the 36-yard line. Stop there. It'll be a gain of two, and speaking of twos, it'll take us to the two-minute warning. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Here's Fields. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. From the gun, here's Fields. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. I know it was a gain. But you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Operating from the gun, Fields. And they got it inside the 10 at the eight. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Looking to throw. Fields. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Harris. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll make it second and goal. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But... Right now, with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting... And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Justin Fields, as the first half is winding down, and the Steelers would extend their lead here just before halftime. Nothing like understanding where your escape patches are as a quarterback. Here he's looking, but he knows he doesn't want to force anything. So when nothing avails itself, he slips past the rushers, takes it right up the middle, and takes it into the end zone. Boswell good with the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. 
That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was all capped off by the Justin Fields touchdown run. He took it in himself. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And on the stop, Demonte Casey. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach... It was a strong first half for Steelers quarterback Justin Fields. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Steelers offense and quarterback Justin Fields heading back out there. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Back to throw. Fields. That's caught downfield by Pickens. And out across midfield down to the 45. That one covers 29 yards. First down. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll run. Here's Harris. The tackle by Quincy Williams. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down and six now. To throw his fields. Completes it to Austin. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 23. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. A 
A play fake, now fields to throw. He's got this to Pickens. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A well-executed 22-yard game. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. That throw finds Pickens in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the night. And the Steelers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point put through by Boswell. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throwing quickly to Wilson. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. To throw, it's Rodgers. Over the middle, it's complete. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll leave him with a third and two. They'll run with Hall. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. Here's Thomas Morstead now. As he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at this. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. George Pickens 
76 yards. And the Steelers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Extra point now by Boswell. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now the Jets offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? Is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and one. On play action. Now Rodgers. Caught by Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Second and short. That's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first and 10, it's home. 20. Five. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall with his second touchdown of the night. And the Jets get a bit closer. And that run going to put him over 100 yards now for the ball game as well. Yeah, he's really had his way so far, and that's just more of the same right here. All he needs, just a little crease, and off he goes. Zerline now for the PAT. And that'll cut the lead back now to 21. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset.
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. So from the 36 now, first and 10. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do where they are in this game they got to push the ball downfield take their shots try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time that was a nice play there and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run he gets maybe three let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line they've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game and while that wasn't a huge one that's okay they'll take them in short steady bursts from the 21, here's second down and seven. He completes it to Wilson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. A give running right is Hall. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Now second and nine from the ten. Throwing now is Rodgers. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown Jets. Mike Williams from ten yards out. And the Jets are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. He has his two scores, but still a sizable deficit in this game. Do you have him in fantasy football this week? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's too bad, right? That would have been big points. But he is really trying to rally his team as best he can. Things are not going as well the rest of the way for them. That's why they're down with this deficit. He might need to score a couple of more times to give them a chance. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. The drive summary that time, five plays. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The home team's offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And you have to imagine this defense saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter.
The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. And a good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Now Fields. That is caught. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Play action. It's Fields. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. 23 yards on the play. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Off play action, Fields. That throw finds Pickens in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Steelers get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Boswell for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was finished off by a George Pickens touchdown grab. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here's Mike Williams now as his guys head back out to go on offense. He's been his typical solid and reliable self, hasn't he, Charles? When you have that go-to receiver that you can count on in the situation we absolutely have to have him, there's nothing better for anybody who's throwing the football. But the best part is the payoff. Two touchdowns already. That's the bottom line when you throw the ball to a guy. Absolutely. Not over 100 yards right now, but he does have the two touchdown catches. Here's Rodgers. 
And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it but couldn't pull it in. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. On third down, here's Hall. And he will have the first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On the draw, it's Hall. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second down and a little more than a yard here. To throw is Rodgers. Wilson's got it complete. His big game continues. Ten catches now and another first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and ten at the 49-yard line. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Two yards to go, second down. On play action, Rodgers. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. T.J. Watt, his second sack of the night. Well, you could almost see his eyes light up defensively. I mean, as a linebacker, that's about as quick as you can get to a quarterback. So what did your third grade teacher teach you about straight lines, right? As soon as you have those, you take full advantage of them. He found a gap in the offensive line, got to the quarterback, and put him on the deck. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Well, this offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They're just looking to do more of the same. They were good in the first half. They've extended their lead so far here in the second half. I don't know, they're just looking good on all, hitting on all cylinders right now. And sometimes that means a head coach who really has a finger on the pulse of a team may not have anything to say at all. May oh, tell the rest of the coaches, up a little bit. just back it off a little bit. This team has it under control. I remember hearing about Bob Knight years ago in oh, basketball, <laughs> getting ready to give the final speech before the gold medal game in 84. And on the board, Michael Jordan had, wrote, had written, Coach, after all we've been through, there's no way we're losing the night. He didn't even give a pregame speech. Wow, interesting. Well, right now, no speech is needed. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up, 
They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. A handoff for Warren. And he'll be stopped up at the 26 after a gain of only a couple. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. Here comes third down at seven. Fields now to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Here's Fields. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Jets are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Well, I don't want to take too much away from his performance throwing the football. He's got the four touchdown passes, but this now a second interception of the ball game. And, partner, part of what's gotten him the four touchdowns is a certain fearlessness. But that fearlessness borders with recklessness, and the latter just occurred. The Jets take it over again. Brees Hall making his way out with the offense. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those <laughs> are some massive men. Rodgers now to throw. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. And he's brought down. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. And this is what they're going to need more of. It's the third quarter. You're trailing. You've got to come out with a renewed sense of purpose. And that's a nice way to kick off the drive with good yardage and a first down. Here's Rodgers to throw. And he's got his big tight end here. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a jet first down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Second and seven. Going right back to Wilson. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. The Jets on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. Here it's third and two. Straight ahead is Hall. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. And, partner, when you run the ball on third and two, you're telling the whole world you've got nothing but confidence in your offensive line and your runner, and you expect to get it. But they were stuffed on that play. Only got one yard. Great job by the defensive front, the linebackers. Everyone got involved to force a fourth down. Now Rodgers got to have this one. 
Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that for both QBs in this game, and that continued with that first down run. They'll run with Hall. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. Now it's Rodgers. Touchdown! from four yards out. And the Jets have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Zerline now for the PAT. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Steelers offense and George Pickens set to take over again. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been the star of the show as they have just had absolutely no answers for him defensively. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You have to think they're a little more careful here if they, if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something <laughs> like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll take this to the 46. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. Again, it's Harris on second down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it. The vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And it's scooped up by the Jets. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. The New York set to take the field. They trail by two scores in the fourth, and their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery 
And time to see what this offense has left in the tank. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. He'll set up the throw from the gun. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You have the first one for the second one to even matter. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Now Rodgers. They'll set up the screen for Hall. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. He's had success running the football, and this is more or less an extension of that because they drop it off to him on the screen. And I'll bet he's thinking to himself, if I didn't have to slow up a bit here in traffic, I could have really made something out of that one. Now they need two. Here's third down. Paul on to give up the middle. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and ten. So now out comes this offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once more. And it's been a rough night at the office for him. He's been more of a liability than an asset throughout the contest. And this offense is having a hard time overcoming his struggles to this point. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Here's second and seven. They run again with Harris. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. The offense on third down tonight, they've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This will be third and six. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Harris running straight ahead. Fighting through, and he's got space. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
142 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Second down and eight. From the gun, here's Fields. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Well, yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. Here's Fields. And he finds Austin complete, and he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now it's third and three. Fields. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 15-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. They'll try the right side with Harris. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They'll run again with Harris. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. They need 12 here. It's third down. To throw his fields. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Partner, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual-threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. They run for it with Harris, and he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Najee Harris, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. So they only needed a couple of feet there on fourth down, but they got more than that and then some as he takes this into the end zone. And I love your description right there, right? Fourth and short. They got that, no problem. Let's go ahead and get the rest of it. Finish it off in the end zone, touchdown. Everyone goes away happy on that one. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it was Najee Harris who finished it off with a touchdown run.
Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now this offense and Garrett Wilson headed back out. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Rodgers going to throw. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively. That's second down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. To throw, it's Rodgers. This completes to Corley. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Throwing now is Rodgers. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From the 41, here's second and six. Rodgers to throw once more. Open man right side is his running back. It's complete downfield. It's a gain of 34. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball is right on the money and leads to a big play. This is caught. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin, 26 yards. And the Jets are able to cut into that deficit. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. Yeah, Brandon, I think that our guys at Next Gen Stats in charge of the win probability are probably saying your chances still aren't great. But now, you still got more than three minutes to go. You got to focus on the task at hand, which is going to be getting the football back as quickly as possible. Now, Zerline on to add the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this doesn't work. The Steelers recover it. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie.
They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. On the give, this is Harris. And he's got it to about the 40. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run, but you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. In motion left goes a tight end. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. The Steelers send out their punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So Aaron Rodgers in his offense. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 54 on the clock. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now Rodgers. And that one to the right side and incomplete. If this offense can't get it done, they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves, this was a winnable game and we let it get away. Still a chance to save it, but time's definitely running out. The noise is getting deafening. Here's third down and three. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick, and he'll bring this one back to the 29. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. It's 
So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They hand this off to Harris. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Harris. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Now Chris Boswell for the Steelers' field goal try. This to make it a three-score game late. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost, and that will extend their lead even further. So they got the turnover started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm, and they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there, that defense able to hold firm, backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. The goalpost right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six, and boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, that's a win for their side. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And he'll wisely just take a knee here, and this ball will come out to the 30-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports.